Okay, so I'm going to go over the features of this radio and then do a little on-air demo. Alright, so starting from the left here, we have the uh, 120 volt uh, line input on this uh, military surplus connector. Moving over here, we have the uh, power switch, power on indicator, manual transmit, um, the uh, transmit indicator, we have tune, meaning uh, keys up the transmitter, and we have the uh, the tuning uh, knob, the digital tuning knob. It's an encoder. Here we have the function button. Here is the single sideband CW mode selector switch. Over here we have the key and external speaker, and here is the microphone input connector which uh, is a classic Motorola police microphone. These are very um, high quality in terms of their audio and performance. Um, moving up the panel, we have our antenna connection here. This is the function enable light, so when the function is down, you know that you've pushed it because this is on. It's very handy because sometimes with digital function controls, it's hard to tell if you have it pushed in. This is the AF gain, meaning uh, that is uh, the audio. Um, here's the mic uh, amplitude here, mic gain. And then this is the automatic gain control set. So this actually sets the maximum signal strength. And then the AGC will keep it at or below the maximum signal strength. It's a little different than a typical amateur radio uh, AGC circuit. It's a very tight AGC circuit. This is the meter selector. Here's a signal meter. So it shows uh, receive signal and it'll actually show you voltage at the antenna terminals. So it's real RMS voltage at the antenna terminals. Right here, uh, you can select the function of this meter between signal level and uh, transmit power to verify that your transmitter is working. Now up here is the digital display, and we have um, frequency over here in cycles per second. Uh, and then up here we have uh, Three numbers will have band, what band you're in. There's two bands, one and two. One Band one is 10 meters, band two is six. Then we have mem memory numbers, okay? Each band has 99 memories. And finally over here we have the operating instructions. Um, this plate came off of an old uh, transmitter, World War II era transmitter, that I printed out a new um, uh, label back here, and I kept the yellowed plastic for authenticity. But it tells you how to use the radio right on the front panel, which is very handy because of this uh, digital interface. Uh, and of course, you know, we've got the uh, rack handles, uh, so it's easy to carry the radio. Um, it even has handles on the back here, right there, and there. And there are, to get to the uh, radio inside, there are snap screws, one right there, and there's one over there. So you just snap it open, radio pops open, no problem. It's easy to work with. The speaker is right here. Transmitter heatsink is right underneath this panel here. And because uh, of the ventilation holes, it stays pretty cool. So let's turn it on and uh, tune around a little bit. So oh, I'll show you a couple of features here. So there you go, it's on. Now let's plug in one of the dipole antennas that I have. And here's my 10 meter. And I'll set the AGC and you'll see it it peaks out right there or we can let it wide open we'll try to get this guy here okay so we'll do a little transmit demo so again we hit function that's the function button. And, uh, you know, 
We'll put this uh, panel meter on RF power so you can see it uh, transmitting. We kick out about 70, 75 watts. So we'll, we'll give it a little try. N8ZRY, test, test one, two, November 8, Zulu, Radio Yankee, checking the uh, radio. So, that's pretty cool. Now let's try, uh, I'll show you what happens when we take the antenna off, because we actually have a Viswar alarm to protect the PA. So, antenna's off now. Now let's try again. Normally this would severely damage your PA. November 8. So, what's happened is, if you look at the signal meter, November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee, nothing coming out of the signal meter because the PA is disabled and the Viswar alarm is going off. So we have to restart the radio when this happens. And if we reset the radio, the alarm resets. Another interesting thing to point out is <clears throat> we can hear the noise floor of the radio right here. Uh, it has a fairly low noise front end, about uh, 1 dB noise figure. But um, cascade of noise figure should be measured because there are losses before that. So when I hook up the uh, antenna, you can hear the difference. So there it is with the 10-meter the antenna, without. All right, that's the radio. QSL, QSL. This is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Name here is Greg, Golf Romeo Echo Golf. Golf Romeo Echo Golf. I'm calling from uh, Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts. You are 5 by 9 into Boston, Massachusetts. Very strong signal, very strong signal. Back to you, um, Motel Zero Alpha Echo Papa. This is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Yeah, November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee from Mike Zero, Alpha Echo Papa. Thanks for the information, Greg, and okay on that because you said the QTH was possible. And uh, your signal was dropping right down there to about the five and uh, the eight. So I think the conditions are just starting to open up on the meters uh, at the moment. But thanks for the short contact. I will hold it. Uh, conditions are not too precious at the minute. QSL, QSL, this is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. I'm running a homebrew radio, a homemade radio. Uh, it is a 10 meter, 75 watt radio, and uh, it, looks, uh, it looks like it's military surplus almost. I'm running a half wave dipole uh, about um, 20 feet off the ground, 20 feet off the ground. Uh, back to you, uh, Mike Zero, Mike Zero. Alpha Echo Papa, Mike Zero Alpha Echo Papa, this is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee. Uh, 737373, thank you so much for the contact. Thank you for the contact. This is November 8, Zulu Radio Yankee out. Okay, so there's a contact in Hull, England, although it was pretty noisy and difficult. Uh, we were able to make it with this radio. So um, hopefully it'll do all right in the uh, homebrew challenge. Uh, it is 6 meter capable, but uh, there's not a lot of activity at 6 meters today.